it love it's that. So cinematic. So cinematic. It's gonna be so good with an edit. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Come. <laughs> Hey, welcome in New Zealand. I've been here for the past week discovering this beautiful pla planet. It's not a planet. Discovering this beautiful country with my family. We've been to caves. We've sh actually, we've shot some cars as well. So we're currently in Auckland and this is the capital city of the North Island of New Zealand. And tonight I have a portrait shoot planned. Found a model on Instagram. I reached out and she was keen to shoot. So that's a win for you and me. I'm gonna be very honest with you. I have not prepared anything for this photo shoot. I haven't even thought of locations. I just asked her to wear an all black outfit with a red lip. You're gonna come along with me to see how I approach this photo shoot, how I find the locations and just all my struggles and everything that goes well. I have no idea what sort of photos we're gonna come home with, but if you watch till the end of this video, you're gonna find out. Okay, I think I've already talked enough. Let's go meet up with her model and start shooting. I'm waiting for my model but in the meantime I was scrolling on Pinterest just to find some inspiration. Most of the time I do this for my photo shoots just because it gives me somewhat of a starting point. We still have to wait a couple more minutes so I'm just gonna have a good scroll. Hello! How's it going? How are you? Good, how are you? So I'm here with Chantel. Mm -hmm. do, you, do I say it the right way? You did, you did. Okay so we just came down off the parking garage and we're here in the streets of Auckland and as you can see the sun or the sun there was not really a sun but <laughs> it's getting darker and darker which is great because the lights are going to be popping so we're just going to start in this street freestyle and see what see. we can get yeah, and i want to show your outfit actually <laughs> like look at that that's so awesome <laughs> nice we can start off here at this pole because then we have the car lights in the back i think i reckon if you sort of like pose against this pole like you can even flick your hair around like this nice oh that's cool yeah, let's do that. That's really cool. I love that building actually. I'm gonna shoot from down under. Yeah. So like if you can do like with your hair towards me, stuff like that, I think that would be really cool. Yeah, I love that as well. I'm just gonna swap to my 50 mil. The lens I was shooting with before was a 35 millimeter and that's very wide. And now I'm gonna shoot with 50 and that's a bit more zoom in. So the higher the number, the more zoomed in it is. Photography lessons with faith. All right, I love this. What if we're just like, you're sort of like standing like this, like looking back, maybe just do a hair flip and just look away. Don't look at the camera. And then if you can just stop, step, just the slightest bit. Yep. Oh, that's gonna add it up so nicely. Okay, let's do one more time. Yes, ready when you are. Love that. We can try. The colors are very funky, but we can try. Maybe just stand to the center. I'm gonna stand a bit further away. Your whole body is gonna be in this photo. I think we got it. I love it's that. It's so cinematic. Oh my God. And it's unedited. It's so good. It's gonna be so good with an edit. <laughs> yep. Okay, so what I'm thinking, mm -hmm. you can come from there, just the second yellow line, and work, walk diagonally towards me. I'll be standing here, and then primarily gonna be shooting at this zebra crossing. Sick. I'll just adjust something in my settings. Try face tracker. Uh, that's why it wasn't focusing, it's, fo it's set to vehicles and obviously Chantel is not a vehicle. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> yep, let's do it. Cool. We just walked this part of the street. We're just going to continue walking and then we're going to cross the road and then do the other side of the street. So we're literally shooting whatever looks good, freestyling, honestly. And the light is going down and down more and more, so it's only getting more fun. Yes, that's nice. Let's try a couple photos here. Nice. And then I spotted that bus stop over there, because then we can use the lights in the background. Uh -huh. 
Now what about the jacket over the shoulders? Oh, this is sick as well, but we still have 19 seconds. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Okay, let's do it. Come. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. All right, so as you can see, we're standing in front of a very, very bright light. And that is because we're standing in front of a convenience store. And I feel like everyone has one of these around the corner of their house or wherever, maybe in the city. But it's such an easy photography spot because of all the lights in the editing, you can make it look very like minty colored, which makes it so moody. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do for this location as well. Yeah, let's try. And then I reckon standing exactly in the middle right here, if you can lift your face up towards the light, because then you just catch the slightest bit. Yep, yeah, nice, got it. Wow, oh, that is really cool actually. So Chantel said she knew a spot, which is this one. It's actually really cool with all the pool tables and all the lights going on. Um, I even kind of like, this thing over here. What if you sit on the ground? Because then I can sort of use these lights in front of your face. Yeah, cool. Okay, do you want to try a different lens? I'm going to swap to the 105 mil from Sigma, just because I want to get a very compressed photo of her face. Okay, so we're now at the rooftop of the parking garage and it looks so beautiful. Like, look, I think this is gonna be so nice in the photos. And it rained a little bit, so the lights are reflecting on the ground. Chef's kiss. Maybe you can leave your right hand hanging alongside your body. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Ooh. I reckon like stand here, a bit more in the middle. Just like stepping walking, my like jacket is flowing. Shooting with the 50 mil, just for a little bit of compression, because then Chantel sort of blends in with the background. I think that works perfectly for this spot. Yeah, nice. What if, it's maybe a bit high, it's like leaning and I shoot from above and you're sort of leaning over the railing. Mm -hmm. All right. Erica, we have it. Yay, it's nice one. Oh. Oh. Awkward high five, awkward high five though. Nice one. And that's the end of the video. It was such a fun photo shoot, especially because it was so spontaneous and I did not know beforehand which locations I was gonna shoot at. And it really helped that Chantel was so easygoing. She also had lots of ideas herself, so that worked out perfectly. I'm very happy with the photos we got, especially because they're all so diverse from each other, but they complement each other. They make a nice collection. <laughs> and when it came down to the editing, I decided to add quite a lot of grain on top of the photos. And when it came down to the color grading, I used my Lightroom presets. You can find these in the description. They all come with a walkthrough tutorial, raw photos of mine for you to play around with, three bonus presets, editing tutorials, and I think that was it. Yep. Yeah. You can all find it in the description alongside all the gear I've used for this photo shoot. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you at my next one. Okay, bye-bye. Doei!